What we're looking at today in this video is drawing a stack elevation for our plumbing needs. Uh, stack elevation will show your horizontal and vertical piping in a building. It's very useful because it'll provide us with a chance to um, help us put a material list together, um, help us plan our, our manpower, our staffing in order to complete the job. It'll enable us to uh, write out a number of uh, uh, plumbing codes and fixtures on the on the drawing to remind us of where things go and what calls we must follow. So it's a very useful document. Um, it can also be used after construction as uh, uh, to help with as built drawings and to uh, help with future installations or um, uh, service uh, to the uh, uh, to the building or house. What we now have is a uh, standard uh, practice uh, elevation drawing on the screen now. Um, this happens to be a building uh, that is a three-story building with a basement. Um, in the lower level of the basement, on the left-hand side, there is a floor drain. Uh, on the right-hand side of the lower in the basement is an LT, which is a laundry tray, and it is uh, a two-compartment because it has the two uh, rectangle shapes there so it's a two compartment laundry tray. As we move up to the uh, first floor on the left hand side we see uh, KS. KS is a kitchen sink and because it has two rectangular pieces there it's going to be a double compartment uh, kitchen sink. As we move over to the right um, we see a floor drain in on the floor of the first floor uh, followed by a domestic laboratory which is next to a water closet. And lastly, uh, the rectangular shape item is our bathtub. Now we move up to the second floor, starting from left to right, we have a water closet, again, with a domestic lavatory beside it. And if we slide almost all the way over to the other side of the second floor, we notice that we have a floor drain uh, installed on that second floor. Now, finally, if we move up to the third floor, Starting from left to right, we have the WC, the water closet, followed by the lab, domestic laboratory, uh, followed by the bathtub BT, and far over on the right side of the third floor, we have the FD, which is our floor drain. Uh, if we look further at the top of the building, we notice that our building has a sloped roof on both sides, and we also have a line sticking out of the, out of the roof. Uh, this will be our vent terminal that sticks out of the roofs uh, where all our vents connect and leave the building. If we look down on the very bottom part of the page on the left-hand side, we'll notice a circle with an FD beside it. That is our foundation drain. Our foundation drain uh, would wrap around the entire building, um, but for our visual point of a two-dimensional drawing, um, that will be our, our connection point of our fixture drain. And again, it does wrap around the entire building. Um, right beside it is the uh, rectangle. There's one on the other side of the bottom of the page, at the bottom of the building. Those are our foundations, our actual concrete footings. Also on the right-hand side, the very bottom of the page, you'll notice two lines. One line that has sand underneath it. That's our sanitary line um, leaving the building. And below that is another line, and that's our storm leaving the building. So this, this drawing is depicting a separate system. Um, in the building and leaving the building. Our first job when we set out on the elevation is much the same as our drain plan. We want, need to decide where we're going to, uh, what stack is going to be our main stack. In this case, we got to actually decide where our stack is going to go. Um, so you'll notice that I've drawn the stack straight up through from the basement right up to the third floor. And I've just put it right of the bathtub on the third floor. And uh, when it goes down into the concrete, into the ground, before it goes into the ground, because it is the main stack, um, it is an internal leader. I have to put a clean out by code. And because it's the main stack, it will be the building drain underneath there connecting to it. So it needs to be a four inch clean out. So I've labeled a four inch clean out. As this, the leader goes in the ground, it turns 90 degrees and heads out as the building drain. Before it heads out, the building totally is a building drain. You'll notice that just right of the laundry tray, I have tied in the clean out, a four inch clean out. 
by code that we must have uh, for our to clean out our sanitary building sewer, which is just one meter off the building. <clears throat> Once I've done that, I can decide if I'm going to put another I need another stack in the building. For this case, I've I've added a second stack. Um, depending how wide the building is, we don't know how wide this building is. We might be able to get away with just that one stack. Um, but our, for our drawing purposes, I've decided to add a second stack, uh, assuming that the, the building is quite wide. And I've dropped that second stack going from all the tying into the building drain uh, underneath the foundation, going straight up through all three floors. And again, uh, both my stacks are, are just stopping just a little bit higher than uh, the flood level room of the uh, domestic laboratory. We'll talk more about that later on. At the bottom of the stack, I've drawn in a clean out as per code. Um, and this clean out will be not sized as we don't know at this point until we uh, size up our material on the drawing to decide um, how big that clean out has to be. The next step in the drawing that I've taken in part is to tie in all my fixtures on the left hand side of the building into that main stack. So the best way to approach it is um, um, at the very top three piece washroom. So the water closet, the laboratory and the bathtub. I have tied in first the water closet um, coming straight off the vertical leg, uh, 90 and then tying into the stack with a Y45 combination. Um, halfway down uh, that line, I have tied in the lavatory, and the lavatory has a trap going down, and it's going uh, Y, a uh, 45 Y into the three-inch line. Uh, you'll notice on the trap there is a little line that's thin, little line that goes across the trap, and that is to represent the cleanout needed by code uh, for any lavatory sink. And I put the line through it, uh, representing a union trap, which covers us for the minimum of having a three-quarter plug. Um, you'll notice that I've tied in the bathtub. The bathtub has a little circle that represents the overflow in the bathtub. It ties in that, plus a drain down the bottom with a trap as well. And it is tying in with a, a Y45 combination into the uh, vertical section of the laboratory's drain. And you'll notice I didn't put any line through the bathtub trap. It's because that trap will not be accessible. Hence why it doesn't need a uh, clean up by code um, or a union trap of any say or plug. And that would obviously just cause uh, potential leaking in the place where it's going to be covered up by drywall. On the second floor, just below it, again, I've tied in the water closet first, vertical leg, then a horizontal uh, sanitary line going across. And halfway across, I tie in the laboratory sink again with a trap going down and then into a Y45 in tying into a three inch line. And again, I have that line going across the trap indicating a clean out, in this case, a union trap, which would cover us by code. Just below that on the first floor, I've tied in the double kitchen sink. Kitchen sinks, uh, the two bowls are tied together. Then they go through the trap. The trap has a, a line through it as a union uh, to represent the code. The minimum we have to have a three quarter plug. So in this case, I made that union trap. And just after the, on the outlet side of the trap, I have put a clean out, indicated with a CO there. As per code, uh, we need a clean out just after a trap on a kitchen sink. And again, it's tied into the stack with the uh, Y45 combination. Um, down in the basement lower level, we have a floor drain. Um, that floor drain is underground. I've tied a trap into it. Every fixture has to be protected by a trap. It's not a union trap or anything like that because, uh, again, it's underground. It doesn't have to have one by code. Um, it would just cause potential leakage if we couldn't get to it anyways because it's covered by concrete and dirt. And I've tied my fixture arm with a Y45 directly into the building drain, just after, around the stack and into the building drain. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, this is just a rule for us, along with a couple other things to help us avoid having to vent this this uh, fixture, this floor drain in the basement. And the other thing you'll notice that I have put on to the drawing 
is uh, TPS and three blue dashed lines. That will represent our trap seal primer um, by code, and it will help us remind us that we need to install a line in the future. On my other side, I've now tied on the right-hand side all my fixtures. So I've tied in my floor drain on the third floor, again with a trap, three dotted lines for a trap seal primer, and tied into the secondary uh, stack there. That stack is also a soil stack um, with a Y45 combination. On the second floor, I've tied in my floor drain, again with a trap, trap seal primer, three blue dashes, and a Y45 connecting into that stack. Uh, um, also, um, just down below, I have now tied in my, uh, on the first floor, my water closet in first, and I've tied my um, floor drain with a trap seal primer into the, the drain of the water closet. And both of those connections are Y45. Down at the very bottom, I have uh, now tied in my laundry tray. Again, double compartments. So I've got to tie the two bowls together, then have them go through a trap. The line going through represents the, the cleanup plug by code that they have to have. So I made that union trap. And then it drains down into the ties in a Y45 connection to the building. Uh, the next part is on the first floor there. I've now tied in the lavatory, domestic lavatory on the first floor. Again, with a trap, a little line going through it representing the union trap. It goes down on the vertical and then ties on the horizontal of the three inch uh, soil pipe, uh, drain pipe for the water closet with a Y45 connection. And in the middle part of that vertical part for the domestic lavatory, I've tied in my bathtub with a Y45 combination. And again, at the bathtub, I have the trap and the little circle uh, representing the, the overflow and the drain are being connected. The last thing we want to do on this one is just to connect our foundation drain in. So I've connected the foundation drain into the storm uh, building drain. On the way out of the house, you'll notice that the just under the laundry tray, there is a four inch clean out as per code that we need to help us clean out the uh, storm, the storm uh, uh, building sewer, which of course is one meter off the house. 